Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm starting off with my outline already sketched onto my chipboard. And um, if you want this chipboard, there's a link in the description below where you can order it. It's very cheap. It's a lot cheaper than canvas panels. And um, it really works well because you've got this color in the background already. All right, so around the animal, I want to, um, I just mixed up a few different colors and I barely mixed them because I wanted them to stay I wanted the background to stay kind of mottled so um, don't mix it well just kind of brush it on there and leave it and now I'm going in with my my blacks and I'm just using acrylic brushes I mean acrylic paint and on my palette I've got white raw sienna burnt sienna raw umber, black, and thalo blue. Um, and I'm using synthetic brushes, just cheap synthetic brushes. So on this snout area, or whatever this is, muzzle, um, I wanna do it while it's all still wet so that I can blend it together right there. So as you can see, it goes from dark up to light. But now the colors in the in the fur um, or hair or whatever this is doesn't have to be the colors that I'm using. So you know if you wanted if you wanted it more gray or something like that, then that would look perfectly fine. The reason I'm painting this is because. Um, I've had a request or several requests for donkeys and I had a request for a mule so uh, since they're so close as far as how they look I decided to paint this and kind of tell you uh, this is more of a donkey because it's the longer hair and the longer ears but the main difference is with if you wanted it to be a mule you would just shorten the ears and shorten the hair um you know i know there's other differences in the two animals but as far as just this head area that's the main visual difference so this is just a detail detail brush just a small synthetic round brush to get the details around the eyes because most of this painting is kind of loose and sloppy but with eyes you you do tend to need to slow down and be a little more precise so now I'll switch to a flat brush and I'm just going to start on the darker hair and I'm just using the skinny edge of the brush to to just very roughly brush in this hair and you know colors don't matter a whole lot but the direction of the hair does so um, if you'll just get the direction going right then everything will fall into place so again I'm using the, the skinny edge of the brush to give that loose hair look. And again, with donkeys, um, even the tips of the ears are hairy, so uh, if, you're, if you're painting a mule, then you might leave off this, the hair right there on the ears, or at least make it shorter. So I like to go from dark to light on the hair and um, and just make it very, very loose. So just kind of keep your brush moving um, and don't overthink it. Just kind of get some color in there because once it dries, you can come back and 
paint over, you know, change some of the colors and shades and stuff. I'm just switching back and forth with my colors. Uh, I got in all my darkest shade, but then with the with the raw sienna and the burnt sienna, I'm just kind of switching back and forth and um, sometimes changing changing a color that I already put on. And when you're doing this, you're you'll be able to determine uh, what color to pick up and and everything. And I'm not rinsing my brush because these are just kind of all modeled together anyway. So it's not even necessary to to between these three colors to even clean the brush. This is pretty self-explanatory um, as long as you keep your, your brush strokes going in the right direction. Really, all you have to do is look at the reference photo to see where, where certain colors are if you're using the same colors as I am. Now, what I'm doing right here is just kind of loosely brushing in some lighter color around the edge to soften it. If you have a dark color against that light background, then it's obviously not going to look very soft. So if you want a little bit softer look where there's not so much contrast, then um, you can just go in with one of the lighter colors and soften that edge. And you can also make the hair longer this way. So with the ears, um, you're seeing the inside of this ear and the back side of the other ear because it's kind of turned away. If you want lighter shades, just um, mix a little bit of white with one or two of the colors and just brush in some highlights. Now I'm dirtying up some white, just putting a little bit of color into it uh, for the muzzle right there because I don't want it to be bright white because I want to come back with bright white 
as a highlight. So in order to uh, in order to have a bright white highlight, I've got to have the base color a little bit dirty. So now I'll clean my brush and I'm putting in some pure white. Now this really hairy area right here above the eyes, the forehead, um, at least on a donkey, it's really hairy right there. So um, I guess some mules have that too, but a mule gets more of its um, hair, I guess, from a ho from the horse side because it's a mule is a donkey and a horse mixture. So. Um, it kind of shortens the hair a little bit because of the horse in it, but mules typically have pretty shaggy hair. And I'm just brushing in some light blue because uh, I want some of that background color to come, you know, to kind of highlight the, the hair a little bit. But you can go back and forth with this. If you, if you start putting in blue, maybe you realize you don't want that much blue or something, you can always just paint over it with one of the other colors. This, um, this makes it more artistic. If you're going for more realism, then obviously maybe the blue wouldn't be, you wouldn't see as much of the blue, but uh, it does make it artistic looking because it brings out the color in the background. I want to get some dark right in there to kind of indicate the shadow shadow underneath the hair. And then there's some dark right here under the eye. So this is just some little finishing touches and then took the tape off and kind of cre created a frame. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.